monument defacing. <laughs> this evil competition is almost within my claw. I don't get it. So you messed up world monuments, big deal. There's more to it than that, Talon. Whoever messes up the most monuments wins. <laughs> <laughs> that snooty Baron Von Steeltoe will never catch up to me now. This is the lamest competition ever. What did you say? Uh, this is the lamest competition ever. You kids with your strange opposite sayings. Bad is good, cool is hot, lame must mean amazing. What's this? An email from the Baron? Hey, Dr. Claw, look up. No! I need another monument to deface. Good luck beating the moon. <laughs> Air's rock in Australia. Millions of years old, beloved by the world, and perfect to deface. Watch out, Angry Arnie. Your futuristic armored car won't protect you from those mutants. Well, I think I figured out why your G-Portal isn't working. Who's been chewing bubblegum in the G-Portal again? Hey, I was in the middle of watching Angry Arnie, cul-de-sac crusader. Eucalyptus tree, family, or Tacei. <gasps> Penny! Watch out! Wowzers! <laughs> Sorry, Professor. Just a little distracted. I've got so many junior spy exams coming up that I've been studying like mad. Mad, evil organization led by Dr. Claw. Drained Atlantic Ocean, 1993. World record most hollowed out volcano layers, 1997. Attempts to capture Inspector Gadget, 1986, 1988, 1997, 1998, 2001 to present. Phew. Thanks, brain. But I still have tons of pages to read. <laughs> Maybe sit this next mission out? No way, Chief. I can do both. That's right. Justice never sits this one out. Or crouches. It does sometimes lean. Reclines? Why not? <clears throat> Mad's been defacing world monuments across the... Uh, world. Dr. Claw's latest stop is the Australian Outback. Your mission is to put an end to his global vandalism. This message will self-destruct. On it, Chief. Ah! <laughs> Oops, forgot something, Chief. <laughs> Can I go like five minutes without Uncle C checking up on me? You call that defacing? But Uncle Claw, I just started. <laughs> Mad Cat may not know how to eat without choking, but she knows good use of negative space. Von Stilto's moon defacing was a work of art. This is a mess. I want real passion, real feeling, real destruction, real fast. <laughs> now that's incentive. Get working. Everyone's an art critic. Wait a second, this looks familiar. The G portal must still be on the fritz. It sent us to a bleak, not too distant future created by MAD. Mm -hmm. Luckily, I'm an expert in world on edge, future gone mad survivalism. I have seen all the Angry Arnie movies. Go, go, gadget, mobile post apocalyptic mode. Ah! Uncle Gadget, that's only a movie. Well then, how do you explain that? Uh, a kangaroo? A kangaroo, you say? If that's true, Penny, he won't mind answering some questions. Yahoo, Mr. Kangaroo, could you come here a minute? Just as I suspected, Penny, that's not a kangaroo. It's a mutant warrior from the not-too-distant future. Go, go, Gadget Mutant Tracker! Now I'm prepared for all future danger. Let's roll. Uh, Uncle Gadget, maybe we can confuse the, uh, mutants if we split up? Good idea, Penny. But stay safe and mutant-free. Brain, stay with Uncle Gadget and watch out for him. Protecting a superior is rule 114.56B. Don't worry, Brain. I can handle a mission and my studying. Swearsies! <laughs> 
Mad Evil Defacing, take two. Even after those few paltry strokes, I can tell your vision is no match for Von Steel to his latest work. Ah, the good doctor! Feast your eyes, uh, that's if you have eyes, on my latest and greatest defacement. That was Mount Everest. Did you see how Steel Toe's henchmen created a rich texture on that offensive image? How come you can't do that? Uh. I'll just use my codex to reprogram that laser and... <clears throat> well, well. Looks like we have an evil laser carving art fan here. It's worse than I thought. These mutants are vicious. A koala slash kangaroo slash dog mutant? Curse you, Dr. Claw! Curse you for messing with Mother Nature! Wait! Dr. Claw! That mutant will lead me right back to him! Does that look straight to you? Uh, focus, Penny. Or you'll be part of the landscape forever! Huh? My codex alarm! I've got to get back to my studies! No, that's what got me into this. If I was less distracted, I could have helped Uncle Gadget stop Talon. And I would have walked into way less trees. <gasps> like eucalyptus trees. Family Mertatia, found only in Australia. Uh, and also have lots of oil in them. Now that's an A+. Plus. We must be close to the Mad Mutant Lair. Be the mutant leader. I must capture it very carefully. Go, go, gadget, future evil mutant catcher. <laughs> gotcha, disarmingly cute mutant. Now lead me to your creator, Dr. Claw. Huh? No. Nope. Too weird. Not weird enough. Hey, Penny, what do you think? <gasps> How's that for a critique? <laughs> All that studying is gonna make you so burnt out. No <laughs> wait, I am. Now I get some target practice. <laughs> I did take one art class, and I can say, nice work, Talon. All right, we finally made it. Now take me to your leader. <gasps> it was me all along. I created the mutants. Why, future Gadget? Why? Go, go, Gadget, black hole of despair. Just you, Chief. Sorry. <laughs> yes, well, you saved Ayer's Rock Gadget and put an end to Claw's foolish contest. Good work. Whatever you say, Chief. You're not a mutant, are you? <sighs> now you'd better get studying. I believe you have exams to take. And ace! Looks like we have time to prepare for our bleak future, because believe me, the mutants are coming. And while they may be cute, it won't be pretty. <laughs> We have.
had this in the evil bag, and you ruined it. I can't catch up to Steel Toe now. Not after his masterpiece, the Aurora Booty Alice. Next time, Steel Toe. Next time. Um, try macaroni arms. Uh, try Codex. Penny and Talon forever. Macaroni arm 78. Ow! Isn't there a less sharky way to guess HQ's passcodes? Maybe we should just knock on HQ's door and ask them to pretty please hand over access to all of their secret information. That idea doesn't sound terrible. <laughs> ah! Hey! You know they love my hair gel! Uh, what about the switcheroo 2000? <laughs> That's still in its experimental stage. Who's to say it won't work on a cat and a certain meddlesome dog? Shh. <laughs> 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 um, can I come down now? Go, go, gadget breakfast. A multitasker's dream breakfast. Morning, Penny. What have you got there? The Spy Who Organized Me. A book on multitasking secrets from top agents. So far, I've only encountered one bad time-saving tip. Word to the wise, do not mix suction cup climbing and cooking. Ah, yes, I read that book. Mm. The author was juggling flaming arrows and rappelling down the Eiffel Tower when he autographed my copy. Next up is a chapter on delegating. The art of getting other people to do your job. That's something I've always struggled with. <laughs> Which reminds me, Brain, be a good dog and fetch the paper from outside. <sighs> Remember to act like a silly dog. Roll over, shake a paw, play dead. Stupid pet tricks, police. That's one undercover mission Mad Cat can do with her eyes closed. In five, four, three, two. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Claw's monster, I presume. <laughs> I know Brain's not a dog's dog. He can't shake a paw or play dead or even eat from his bowl. But I had hoped he could fetch. <laughs> huh? Look who's ready to act like a real dog. Go, go, Gadget Head Scratcher. Good dog. Yeah, it's going to take some time to adjust to the new bod and the new cat sized brain. <sighs> Here's the dealio. We switched your body with Mad Cat so she could steal HQ's new passcodes. But if she's not back here in four hours, you'll stay like that permanently. So don't even think about escaping. Chapter three, struggling with juggling. The book says you gotta learn to physically juggle before you can mentally juggle. <laughs> Coffee? Tea or hmm. Chief Quimby? Nice multitasking, Chief. Good morning, Gadget. It's the annual changing of HQ's passcodes, and we have reason to believe Mad is sending an undercover agent to steal them. This message will self-destruct. A mad agent here? Just waltzing around HQ? Impossible! We're taking every precaution, and we've erased all internet records of the codes. This portable drive contains the only copy. Huh. Wow. <laughs> no, Brain. The doggy treats are in my other pocket. <sighs> Don't forget your milk, Chief. Why? Just watch Mad Cat chase her own tail like a real dog. <laughs> She could teach you a thing or two about undercover disguises. For the last time, I thought you said mouse stash. Dear 
there's something different about you that I can't put my finger on. That's it. You're likable now. Let's make a list of all the doggy things we've never done together. What should be first? <laughs> Playing dead? You read my mind. Next, fetch. <laughs> Too slow. <laughs> My cat's undercover skills are second to none. She's got gadget eating out of her hand. <laughs> When's the last time you were that committed to going undercover? You're right, Uncle Claw. Mad Cat's a way better spy than me. If you want to get out of this body and back into that one before Mad Cat destroys your reputation, you will help me sneak into HQ and do the switcheroo. <laughs> Be back soon! Just stepping out to do some, uh, spy stuff? Toodles! <laughs> oh. Hey! <sighs> Get back here! You think Penny's gonna believe your brain without me to do all the talking? <laughs> These multitasking exercises are really upping my age and game. That was close. As if I wasn't using my 360 degree codex goggles to see behind me. Hello, multitasking 101. Also, my cat allergy gave you away. You don't have time for this. I know you're here to steal the passcodes, but you can't keep running forever. Oh, why's that? Ow! Because this hall ends. Okay, you're right. We knew about the passcode, so we used this machine to switch Mad Cat and Brains, well, Brains. And if we don't get them back to their regular bodies in seven minutes, Brain and Mad Cat will be switched permanently. If you're Brain, then what's my middle name? Ruth? What? I follow you on my spy place. Okay. Something only Brain knows. Got it! The steps to our HQ talent show country jazz dance routine. <laughs> it's really you. But if you're in Mad Cat's body, then Mad Cat is with Uncle Gadget and the passcodes! Told ya! Hey, around here we multitask. So if you're gonna gloat, you better gloat and run! Ah, what's next on our ultimate doggy date bucket list? We've done the bicycle built for two, the spaghetti bowl for two, the old-timey mermaid photo for two. Ah! Woof, 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 woof. What's that, boy? A little louder. Oh, it's your turn to walk me. Uncle Gadget. Penny, you've come to join us for our walkies. Heel brain. There's no time for explanations, but if that dog and this cat don't put these matching hats on in less than a minute, they'll permanently be in each other's bodies. You had me at matching hats. Brain and I live to match, right, Brain? A nice, quiet spot for my lunch. No gadgets, no bombs, no worries. You, you're me, finally. Now me as you gets to blow you as me up. This message will self-destruct. Uncle Gadget, no! I should have known better. Oh. No, what have you done, Talon? Wow, that handsome fellow sounds an awful lot like my niece. I guess this is an opportunity to really multitask. Go, go, Gadget arms! Gadget, give me the passcodes before Talon gets them. Penny, are you coming down with a cold? Your voice is very low. No, that's Talon. I'm Penny. Don't give Talon. I mean, don't give Penny the passcodes. Give Penny the passcodes. Sure. <gasps> <laughs> Victory! 
Listen, Talon, we only have five seconds. If you switch us back, I'll give you this USB drive. Unless you want to be me forever. Fine. Later, suckers. Well, Penny, that was invigorating. You, I mean, I did some fine multitasking there. Yes, Gadget, but now Talon has HQ's passcodes. Don't worry, Chief Quimby. Things aren't always what they seem. Let the record show it was me, not Mad Cat, who got those passcodes. This is an e-copy of the spy who organized me. I've been meaning to read that! My sharks are hungry. Ah! 